Ikarabako Shekita Rabashuta. Yuko Ramanda Ramanda Ramakala Mashita. Yarete Rabako Rabashata. Ikarabashata. You're hearing my voice. You are about the first uh, 700 people to be on the prayer. Praise God. So you are entering into the courts. You are the first group of people to enter the courts. Praise God. So you have to enter the courts with power. You have to enter the courts. Praise God with authority. So you are the first people to enter. You're the first ones to come in almost every morning. So you have to enter the courts, enter the gates, enter the gates. Praise God, you have to enter the gates with power. You have to enter the gates with authority. You cannot enter the gates um, in a way of, of being tired. So because you are the first to come into the gates of the Lord, you have to enter that gates with power. You have to find your position. You have to find your spiritual position. And then as you enter the gates with thanksgiving and you come into that gates, entering that place, entering that realm, entering that arena, you enter the courts with praise, but you have to strategically, it has to be intentional as you're coming in. Praise God, because you already understand now, I am one of the first to enter this gates. I'm one of the first to enter this, the arena of the altar. And how do you enter it? How do you know when you're entering it? Because you begin to see it through the eyes of your spirit. So you're coming in. You, you cannot be distracted. You have no time to look to see who else is coming in and who else is on the grid with you. Praise God. Because your attention has to be focused attention. And it has to be focused on the on the, on the assignment. I'm coming before the Lord. I I am raising this altar with my prophets, with my apostle. So I am now. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Praise God. Um, and I'm acknowledging the spirit of God as I enter in. Jitalaya, jitalaya, jitalaya. So it 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 it's important that you're not just sitting there you're praying but you're praying from your head and many of you are praying and you're praying from your head um, and what do I mean by that you're not praying from your spirit and so to in order to raise an altar of consecration you have got to pray from your spirit it's got to be Praise God, amen, intentionally praying. You're understanding the reason why we're praying is because we want to invoke the presence of God. We want to even provoke it. We want to provoke it, praise God. Provoke, you want to provoke the presence of God. And how do I provoke the presence of God? I I have got to engage the Spirit of God. I have to engage him, but it's not going to happen. It, you have to be careful that prayer does not become, praise God, prayer does not become, or like this prayer time and this prayer altar and this prayer watch does not just become what we call form or fashion. Praise God, because just to say that you have prayed or to say that I, I know it is a habit. Yes, it becomes a habit, but it has to become a habit that's always on the cutting edge of change. In other words, I'm not doing this just because it's a ritual. A ritual, in a sense, can be good, but a ritual could be bad. Because when something becomes a ritual, Praise God. Amen. Like I'm talking to some of y'all right now and you're trying to be deep and you praying. Praise God. Because you're not understanding and you can you can move your mouth. You can you can move your mouth. But at the same token, you have to know when the Spirit of God is trying to teach you something. You have to know when the Spirit of God is trying to say something to you to shift you. 
so you can keep rocking yes you can praise god because your spirit is beginning to uh, to, to move towards the gate but i'm now trying to tell you how to access the gate so you know um accessing the gate it means now that i'm opening myself i'm positioning myself i'm entering so yes you may start by this by this rocking that sometimes so i start i start by by moving by rocking because i know i'm 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 approaching the gates So I'm trying to show you something that I'm approaching the gates in Rabaka Rabashata. I'm approaching the gates. I'm, I I want to approach the gate. Retitela so I'm gearing my spirit up to approach the gate. I'm gearing my spirit man, my soul, my body, my entire being. I'm gearing it up to approach the gate. I don't want to be distracted. I don't want to be I don't want no I don't have time to see who's coming in and who's not coming in because now I'm a, I know the early birds already in. We're all gathered at the gates. So as you gather at that gate and you're praying you're pressing towards it Jelela you see the gate of the spirit in the realm of the spirit you see the gate you see it you have on your war war weapons of war you have on your boots you have on your your you have in your hand the weapon for that day you already know and you also have the, which is that weapon or the assignment for that day you already heard the general say that we're raising an altar of consecration a prayer altar of consecration an altar praise god because we want to be able to take possession first of all we want to do the will of god We want to make sure that we're in the will of God and then we want to be able to to well, to believe we're believing God for the for the Simon he's given us in every area in every city in every country so this consecration is so that we can intentionally uh, raise this altar of consecration so that we can raise the altar of prayer in America in every city in every state praise god and even in Fort Lauderdale in Florida praise god and in, in Georgia where we just uh, uh, uh praise god uh, raising this altar this prayer center so that's what you know for a fact and so everything pertaining to what we're seeking to do in this consecration is geared towards God we need you we need your wisdom give my pastors the wisdom they need the knowledge and the grace if you cannot pray for nothing else you pray for the grace of God to be extended us because grace can never be taken the grace of God can never be revoked and so that what we're doing is not by our own might or power but it's by the grace of God This is how you're entering this altar. Jalala barala bashata, jirikelele bashata, roshetele bashata, rata daba. And your 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 focus. So sometimes the focus, your eyes may be closed. Jalala man until you hear the voice of your apostle or your prophet, or or one of the the leaders that we have assigned to maybe lead you through the gate that morning. Are y'all getting it? Jalala barala bashete de bashanda. Rata la ba shata la ba shete, rete la ba sata la ba shata, roche kita la ba sata la ba na. And as you're entering that gate, you're approaching that gate. Praise God. Jile maraba kata la ma sata, rata la la la. And focus on it. So in the mind of your spirit. In the mind of your spirit or in the eyes of your spirit you can see the gate now prophet is what is that praise god what is that what is that jilabana mashada mashata what is that praise god amen in the in the soul there's what is called the arena of the mind praise god and your mind in ishoto mashada within the mind amen there is a realm called the realm of imagination Praise God your subconscious realm is where you dream Praise God the subconscious realm is where you dream Jele bakara bashata but the even the realm of the imagination it is a type of dream but it is one that you are not sleeping It, it notice what i said in the realm of the uh, of the mind there is a a corridor that is called the imagination and in the imagination praise god amen it is a type of dream but it is not a dream where you are sleeping 
Now, this is very heavy. This is very deep. And I know some of you didn't come on this prayer network for this, the way some of you are positioned, like you in a lounge somewhere. But I'm going to talk to those of you that understand and are seeking understanding. So where does the gate, where does the gate appear? Prophetess, the gate of prayer that Jesus said, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The gate appears in the spirit of your mind. It appears in the realm of imagination. Praise God. And so even though, see, you grew up thinking that imagination was, you know, some la-la land. And, oh, you know, I have an imaginary friend. And we play together. We talk together. No, that is, that is an existence. That is a corridor that the Spirit of God gave you. That is a gift that God gave you to form your world by. Praise God. Because if you cannot see the invisible, you'll never receive the impossible. If you cannot see the invisible, You'll never receive that which is impossible. So because that's why he said whatever you can ask or think. So this, this imagery is coming from the realm of thinking. This imagery of, of, of a, a new level of sight is coming, praise God, amen. From, it's in the corridor of the mind. It's in the soul. It's in the realm of thinking. So as a man think it in his heart, so is he. As a man think it in his heart, so is he. So whatever you can ask, if Ephesians 3 and 20 says, or think, I, I dare to say, or even imagine. So because some people don't think, because some people don't think, correct? Because some people don't think, they don't accomplish anything. They just do whatever they, they feel like, though they haven't thought it out. So that's why I said to you this morning, saints of God, coming in to the altar of prayer, coming in to, the, to, the, to get to the altar, you will have to come through the gate. There is no altar except you've come through the gate. This is the teaching I'm giving you today. And in order to come through the gate, you have to come through the gate with power. You cannot just come through the gate. Rama, yama, rah, eh. No, you have to come to approach the gate. I'm giving hail to the king. I'm honoring the Father, the Creator, the Elohim. Praise be unto you. Mighty King, Mighty Father, Jevoshekaya, Jevoshekaya. I am praising and hailing him. As I begin to praise and honor him in the spirit of my soul. You are worthy to be praised. I can stay right there for a long time. Every king wants to be glorified. But this God, our king, he is the only king of kings and the only Lord of Lords, and he's waiting for his he's waiting. I'll hail you. Hail you, mighty God. I bow before you this day. I come in there, and you begin to be, and you were tired. The night was upon you. But as you're shedding it, you are shedding the night. You're shedding it. You're shedding it. You're shedding it. You're, you're releasing it. So that's why I will come in sometime. I will rock. I will move. Because just as I'm sitting here with my eyes closed and I am praying, I can feel my spirit man. I can feel the weight of the night loosening from me. I can feel the weight of the night loosening from me. 
As I worship him, the more I worship him, the spirit of God on the inside of me begin to increase, begin to increase its capacity. And the spirit of God begins to lift me. He begins to lift you. I always start my prayer before I even enter anywhere. Lord, wash me. Cleanse me. Purify me. I mean, from I wake up, from I open my eyes, praise God, I begin to honor the Lord. I begin to praise Him. I say, Holy Spirit, take everything out of me. Out of me, what? Out of me, what? You trying to tell me you was fornicating when you were sleeping? No, you was lying when you were sleeping? No, maybe not. But just in case you went somewhere, just in case during the night watch, come on somebody, your ram of imagination kicked in to the wrong zone or didn't, you know, you say, wash me, cleanse me. You, you, don't, have, you don't have to commit any sin. That, that, that will, But I still go through a washing because every human being have to wash their body. When they wake up, I have to wash mine, my soul, my spirit, and my body. Praise God. Amen. Cleanse me of every thought. Cleanse me of every wicked imagination. Cleanse me, O oh God. Purify me. Purify me wholly unto you. I acknowledge you. I acknowledge you, O oh God. When you approach the gate of a king of a of a palace, you have to oh, you have to wake up and know which gate you're going to. Because there's so much gates, corridors, there's so many gates, gateways ways and portals that are open praise God I acknowledge him people have never I told you the spirituality in people is very strange people worship in all kinds of things even the unknown God praise God I told you just recently amen they, they erect shrines even to the unknown they erect to the moon the sun the star and you're going to see this increasing praise God amen but what am I trying to say but you acknowledge him father you are my king oh king of kings I am that I am and you pray as you are worshiping at the gates, as you are warfaring at that gate, you cannot open the gate yourself. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God in the realm. Remember now, in the mind, in this, in the thought, in that arena, in that in that realm, there is a door called imagination. So you are at the gate. So you are seeing a gate in front of you, the gates of the spirit. You're seeing it. Praise God. Some gates you have to wrestle with, some gates you have to, you know, you have to tear down in the spirit. But then the gate of the Lord, the gates of the Lord, the gate of God the spirit of God will cause that gate to open up you will know when that gate open oh my God when you begin to pray to a different level you know when the gate you know when you have the gate have opened praise God the gates have opened and you have entered in once you've entered in praise God hallelujah you begin to move in the spirit and the spirit of God begins to carry you in that gate as you are ascending you are going into the realms of the spirit now it gets to a point where you're praying there are things in your mind again in your spirit mind that you know you wanted to pray for. You already, you can, you can, you can know you wanted to pray for them. I want, as we raise this altar of consecration, I lift up, amen, praise God, the apostle, the prophet, I lift up the fire revival America, I lift up BFOMI Global, I lift up, oh God, our assignment in America, our assignment in the world, our assignment in the earth. Let the spirit of struggle be destroyed. And then, and you begin, you're praying it, but you're now even able to pray it in the spirit because the mind is so powerful. 
The spirit man is so powerful that it has taken recognition of what needs to be prayed out. So what began to happen now, as you have said that in your mind, the Holy Spirit is now the one making intercession through you. As you go here now, as you begin, because you've said that in your mind, the Spirit of God knows exactly what to pray concerning Fort of uh, uh, um, Florida. He knows exactly what to pray concerning Georgia. He knows more than you know. So as you are, if you finish with that English, you're in the spirit. He's making an expression. He's making an intercession through you so when that is when that is taking place you're praying by the spirit you're praying in the power of the spirit you're not just praying your own mind you're not just praying now you know some contrary foolishness your mind become oh, amen amen in, in graft, infused by the power of the Holy Spirit you and the spirit become one that's why I say you cannot be looking around you cannot be all your eyes all over the ground Great to see. Let me see who else is coming on. Let me see who else is. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes. No, 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 no. You, you're just going through a ritual. If you're going to pray, if prayer is going to become a ritual, let it become a godly and a spirit inspired ritual. Are you understanding me today? If it's going to be a habit, let it be a, a habit in, in, in control by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Because you cannot. Hallelujah. You cannot carry on your business of prayer, praise God, and you are in control and you are distracted. So things come to be a distracted. Then you start feeling sleepy. Then you start feeling tired. Then you start feeling like you're, you're, you're hungry. Then you start all of the flesh things begin to rise up because now you then disconnect yourself out of the spirit. As you go towards the gates, as you go towards the gates, as you go towards the gates, you go towards the gates with thanksgiving, but you go and you're doing in the spirit. So every now and then I may slip out of the language of the spirit to English or to the language that I speak. Um, and and that, that is sometimes I do that when I'm teaching you all and I'm guiding you all. But I can pray for hours in the spirit language. But sometimes I slip out to teach you or to guide you if I'm leading a prayer or if you're leading a corporate prayer. So sometimes you may slip out to guide the people into what is next that we're praying about. So I worship you, God. I bless your name. We raise this altar of consecration. Oh God, arise. Let our enemies be scattered. Scatter our enemies from before us. Wipe them out. Oh God, give us the victory. Give us victory and give us power. In the four corners of the earth. All over the world. In America. Everywhere. Oh God, we have voice is heard. Amen. Canada everywhere where our voice is heard. Lord God, thank you, oh God, for the victory today. And I begin to pray in the spirit. I don't have time to be seeing who next to me. I don't have time to look to see you on the side of me. No, the devil is a liar. I have entered the gate. Once you enter the gate, the gate of the Lord has been opened unto you. You go to that gate with power. You go to that gate with authority. Not, no distraction. Focus Focus, your eyes and the spirit is focused. Now that you're through the gate, what are you looking for as you enter through the gate? 
He said about the Messiah. You're looking, amen, you're in a battle sometimes, but you're doing battle for the things that we're praying for. Battle for the territory. Battle. We slay every wicked adversary of demonic powers. Trying to block us, trying to hinder us, trying to restrict us. We destroy you. You destroy them. You wipe them out. You're moving now like a, a, a gladiator. You're moving, praise God, through the gates, through the gates, through the gates. Every one of them you come in contact with, you saw down. Because the Spirit of God is putting it in your spirit. He's pinning it in your spirit. Deal with this one. Deal, deal with this one. Deal with the spirit of blockage. They're trying to block us. They don't want us to enter. Oh, Rabbi, you deal with them. And then you say, now you come to the gate of entrance, the gate of acquisition, the gates of real estate, the gates of, of, of praise God, of economics. The demons that are there don't want us to prosper financially. We defeat you in the name of Jesus. We take possession of our finances. We take possession of our, our wealth. In the realm of the spirit, we take possession. This is how you deal with gates. This is how you ward the gates. You destroy, then you take the keys and possess. You destroy, you take the keys and possess. When it comes to sickness, this is how I deal with every sickness. This is how I deal with people who are sick. This is how I deal. I go, I charge at them. I charge at that spirit. I already see you. Your name is infirmity, right? Yeah. Loser. Loser. Let her go. Loser. Let her go. Lose him. Let him go. I charge at it. I'm going to try to be looking all around on the screen to see who else is charging. I saw you. But when did I see you? I saw you in my spirit. I saw you in my spirit, in the spirit of my mind. So I charge at you. I attack you. I attack you. I attack you. Every spirit of resistance, every spirit of hindrance, every spirit of blockage, every spirit that comes to cause pain, that comes to bring distraction, that comes to make people sick, that comes to... No, I, I come at you. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I come for the miracles. I come for the miracles. I come for their healing. I Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. See, right there, that's where the devil wants you to fall asleep. You understand? I mean, he don't want you to get knowledge and understanding. So I charge at that, and I and I and we're doing it corporately, and now you're beginning to see the victory. That's how you get results. When you see us praying for people, as soon as you see me praying for somebody, you are coming in agreement for that person's deliverance, for that person's healing, for that person's breakthrough, for that person's victory. In the in the spirit, and so that's why when the miracle happened, the miracle is permanent because we dealt with it through the gates of fire and through the gates of healing but if no one is is backing and dealing with it then the person has another attack and there's no one helping to cover so this is how you gain and you maintain the army that's the purpose of the army when they when they when the movie came out saving private ryan amen you are, everybody was just you know the focus was trying to find ryan the the, the, the focus was trying to, to find the soldier Amen. So when it comes down in any real army, no other soldier leaves the other soldier on the ground bleeding. The other soldiers get around that person, no strings attached, and we all, they all pray, lift that soldier up, carry him to safety. And that's what it has to be in this prayer army. We've got to lift up each other and carry each other to safety. It's no, praise God, no soul ties. No, oh, the Lord, oh, I just saw you on the prayer army, and I'm just, I'm calling you, I'm texting you, uh, you know, just to, just for me and you to pray privately. No, nobody gave you that assignment. The assignment is here. We're in corporate battle. We're in a corporate army. We're in a corporate war. And then you begin later on, I, I, as I mentioned last night, with an apostle on the, on the live, is that then we begin to trust people. We begin to trust you. We know that this person is a trusted soldier, is a trusted agent, and then 
we would say, okay, let's go. We have to raise an altar in this city. We have to raise an altar in that city. But we know we have proven that we could trust you, that you're, you're, you're trustworthy. You're not, you're not subtle. You're not deceptive. You're not trying to do your own thing or build your own kingdom. So then that gate was open. You go through the gate. And as you're through the gate, the Spirit of God will touch us and show you exactly what you need to be dealing with. If it's a corporate prayer, then there may be somebody interrupting you. Like sometimes I will interrupt and I will say, Come on, we're going to pray today for divine protection. Divine protection. With Jehovah Nisai, Jehovah a righteous banner. And I will make me give you tidbits and then you go back and pray concerning that. Amen. Because obviously God is showing me something to do with protection. So that is how we enter. But you cannot come to the gate tired. And you cannot come to the gate weary. You cannot come to the gate distracted. I'm seeing some of you praying, but I see you praying from your head. I don't see you praying from your your heart. You're praying from you're praying like from your head. I don't know if I can, how I can explain it. But you're praying like from, you know, your your physical man. Like, Father, you're going, you're praying in tongues. But it's not, you haven't gone to the depth of the tongues. You're still at the surface. If that makes sense, if there's an ocean, you dive in. You could swim to the top of the water or you could dive and go deep, right? So that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like a lot of you are just praying, you know, but you're still thinking. You're still thinking about the stove. You got to go put the grits on the pot. You got to go, you know. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. Start it. You gotta get ready for work. You know, around eight thirty. You know, eight o'clock. You gotta, and you know, you have all this going on. You cannot. You will not have results with that type. Prayer has to be um, intentional. Prayer has to be intentional. It has to be intentional, and it has to be direct. It has to have a direct aim, objective. Um, and target and you as you practice it as you practice it the more you practice it the better you become the more proficient you become in it praise God God will begin to show you things that you did not even know physically but you she shows it to you and you're able to engage it and you're able to bring it watch things change and if we as if it's if it's hundreds and thousands of us you can imagine everybody praying the same way and targeting the same thing. I will say, okay, today we're, we're raising this altar of consecration. We're in Georgia. Apostle is in Florida. We're raising both altars. Praise God because we're believing God. Amen. For the power of God to be present with us. We're believing for the grace of God in these cities. Praise God that God will give us the acquisition of our real estate, of our land. And we will be able to do it without struggle. That millions of dollars will come into our hands. Because Babylon does not understand understand tongues. Babylon does not understand, <laughs> you know, Rabashat. They, they don't. They only understand money. And these people, you know, they, 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 they only understand money. So we are believing God for millions of dollars to come into your hands and into our hands. And God will show us the way to that millions and show you the way to that millions. But once the, once the vision and the mission is in you, when that money, when you get access to that money, the first thing you will think about, I got to get this to church. <laughs> I got to get this to the prophet. Because we've been looking for this money for a while. We need, we need a minimum of 17 acres of land, almost 20 acres of land in South Florida to start with. What is that for God? What is that for God? Come on. And, and so when money hits your hand, the first thing you start thinking about doing is I got to get this to the church. I got to get this to the kingdom. I got to get a portion of this to God. I got to get the I got to call the church. I need to get the apostle or prophet. I got to get this in, the, in their hands because we got work to do. You become, as a soldier, you become, you be, I want to use a word, guys. You become possessed with the ministry and the assignment. Praise God. Amen. The vision that we were given. That's how a soldier go to fight in Afghanistan. That's how the soldiers went to fight in Kuwait. That's how the American soldiers went to fight in Iraq. They went there on a mission. They was like, when they went up in those mountains, they was looking for Bin Laden. They went looking for the terrorists. Because if we don't get you, they went looking for Osama Bin Laden. 
they went looking. They was on a mad hunt for him. Anyone who even looked like him was about to get killed. Because why? They knew their mission was to, 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 to end this tyrant, to end his war. To end his to end his fight against the innocent. So I'm just saying that to you to say this is that this is how your world, your world gotta exist where you getting up to pray every day. That's why I said to you, I can pray for your headache. Yes, I can. I can pray for your toothache. I can and I will. But my God, after I finish praying for that, we have a greater goal. Our greater goal is the kingdom. We have to take territories. And I, I'm just trying to say, yes, Apostle and I, we're doing it and we have a team in us. But you have to make sure that that team is happening. You have to make sure, wait a minute, I can't afford for, for them to give up in Georgia. God, if they don't conquer Georgia, Jesus, they ain't going to ever reach to New York, New Jersey. They ain't going to ever reach to Philadelphia. The devil is a liar. And what is getting me is that people was praying for us to come to Georgia. But where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't feel you. Where are you? If I only see you when I get there on Friday night, or where are you during the whole week? Praise God. Hallelujah. I know some of you are, are, are helping. I know I know some of you are. I, I, I can see. I'm a prophet. I can see. But at the same time, where's everybody else? Do you get what I'm saying? When we descend upon a place, everybody... In, in that, in that, in that, in that area, or within that radius, whatever, in that region, it's supposed to descend with us. Praise God! Even if you have to drive and come back, even if you gotta fly and come back, even because why? We came to take the stronghold of the city. We came to take Mount Zion. We came to give it to take it for God. We came to hew down the walls of Jericho. We came to possess the city. You may be saved, but we came for your family. We came to deliver. Hallelujah. So it means now that we have to do it with power and authority and with unity. That's all I interrupted your prayer for today to tell you. Praise God. That's all I interrupted to tell you. I am here to train you. I'm here to teach you. Praise God. Amen. Uh, how to pray. How to engage the battle. How to win. The, uh, how we going to win the warfares at the gates. This I'm teaching you. To, praise God. I'm showing you. Praise God. This is how we have to do it. Praise God. And I'm showing you because I want an army strong. I want an army that is strong. I want I want when you when you hear the voice of the apostle and the prophet and we say go left, you turn left. When you hear us say go right, you go right. Praise God. In this upcoming training for reigning. Praise God. I am going to be given uh, some military, spiritual military instructions. Praise God. Amen. And I'm going to demonstrate it as to how it's supposed to be done. Praise God. Because I understand that many people uh, don't understand how to enter war and how to enter battle. What I've given you this morning was just a precursor. A, a small fragment of what I'm going to be teaching in the upcoming training for reading, which is going to be, amen, praise God, on the 20th and um, uh, the 21st, amen, hallelujah. That's a Saturday and a, and a Sunday afternoon, I believe. Praise God. But guess what, people of God? I am in Georgia. And more than likely, amen, I'm going to be doing it, praise God, from Georgia. Amen. There's going to be um, the center in Fort Lauderdale is going to be open to the students there. And also in the Bahamas, I think, the center there is going to be open. But I am going to be, praise God, amen, on location here in Georgia. And everybody else will be able to do it via Zoom. Praise God. But I want you to, 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 to sign up for it. Praise God. I took away all the additional um, fees. It's down to the bare minimal. Praise God. Amen. So, amen. It is, it is, what, it is my uh, product of, 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 of my assignment. So, amen. Go and register for it. It's right online. Praise God. Amen. Some of you, you, you need to just believe God to get in. You need to believe God to get in. Find someone to sponsor you. Say, Lord, send me a sponsor. Send me someone. Send me anyone that can help me. Praise God. And then some of you need to call the prayer call center. 
Rosanna and tell him, listen, I want to pay on my on my training for Rene. I want to I want to give my card, you know, and I want you to I want to pay on it. It's two or three weeks away, or is it what a week away now? I don't know. Praise God, Amen, Hallelujah. But you could say, listen, I want to put put a deposit on it. So some of you people don't mind coming to the prayer altar, praise God. But then you don't you don't make your way, praise God, to nothing else that we do. Praise God, and and that that is not good because you need to be able to grow. You need to be able to increase in spiritual strength. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just take one moment to pray. I hope that I help you all today. I hope that this this uh, moment, amen, uh, was a blessing and a learning experience. Praise God. Amen. I pray to God that it was. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope it was. Some people mouth still is closed. Some people mouth still. Some people can't even shake their hands to say amen, yes or no. Praise God. But for those of you that gained something from it, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord keep you, amen, sharp under the shadow of his wings. Praise God, amen, hallelujah. Let's just pray in the spirit just for a short moment. I know I'm already out of time, but let's just, just take a brief moment to pray, and then I will interrupt you, amen, again. Praise God, amen, with um, my closing words. So let's just pray for a moment. We'll raise the altar of prayer and consecration. We're in this time of consecration. All day long, we're praying. Every moment we pray. Every moment we're praying to God. Every moment we're seeking Him. We want the prayer center in Georgia to be established. We want the prayer center in, in, in Georgia to be established. We want the prayer center in Georgia to be erected. We want the prayer center in Georgia to be realized. That revival will come to the people of Georgia. That they will break out of religion. They will break out of the spirit of religion and false religion. And that the spirit of Egypt and bondage and Pharaoh will let the people go. Jillian and they will lose their minds from even in some of these churches that is even not of God, that they will lose from dead places, that they will come out of barrows, that they will come out of sin and fornication, that they will come out of praise God, amen, praise God, amen, out of witchcraft and, and out of the occults, and that they will come out of all of these uh, Freemasonry and all of these praise God, amen, uh, fraternal orders, and they will begin to come to church and come to the altar of prayer and they will come and seek God and serve God. The people that are sick in this region will be healed. That miracles will break out in our services and our crusades like never before. These are the things you're praying for that souls and backsliders and sinners will come to know the Lord. Praise God. So as we raise this altar of prayer and consecration we raise it, praise God with the understanding that God is hearing our voice and he's having mercy on us and he's Answering as we pray, the angels will be released. Praise God. Angels will be released to come to excel in strength. Praise God. And to help us, that He will send angels to help us to build the city in Fort and Florida, to, to build the altars in all the other states, including right now Georgia. Praise God. All of these other states, that every state and city will have an altar erected as a fiery altar, an altar of fire and power unto the Lord. Amen. Let's pray for two minutes. Come on. Lift your voice up. Open your voice loud. Zile <laughs> Zelamana Makura Bana, Rada Mama 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 
In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God praise. Clap your hands and give him glory. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. To God be all the praise. Mama, God love you today, Mama Lolita. Mama Lolita. Yes, Mommy. God love you today, Mama. God loves you very much. He said, Amanama, while we were praying, I was praying for you. What city are you in, Mami? What city are you in, Mama Lolita? Right now I am in the Netherlands. I am on vacation in the Netherlands. You are right in, now. In the... But I live in Stata. St. Eustatius, that's right next to St. Martin and St. Kitts. I'm in between those two islands. Your fa- family is in the Netherlands? Yeah, some of my children and my family members live here. So right yes. now I am on vacation, but I am stationed in the island of St. Eustatius. 
Gilles de Lorraine, and that is... It's right next to between St. Martin and St. Kitts. Okay. Jala Madaba, I prayed for you while I was praying. I was praying for one of your daughters and your grandchildren. And I just pray Thank for all of them and I cover them in the name of Jesus. I speak total and divine healing over your family in the name of Jesus. Everything, praise God, that the enemy has tried to afflict them with and try to attack them. Praise God, I break the attack and I break and I cancel the affliction. I cancel the attacks of the enemy from over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Because even while you're there in the Netherlands, praise God, I see that you were taking observation of some things, praise God. And I saw that you were noticing some things, praise God. And you were just praying about it. Like you saw things like, you know, that something that just concerned you a little bit. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, tell her. He said, tell my daughter that I, I see her a prayer. I hear her prayer. And I'm, I'm answering her prayer for her. And you know, your greatest desire is that everyone will be saved. That everyone will come to know Jesus. Praise God. Yes. Mama, I come in agreement with you today. Oh, God. I break the curse from your life. I break the curse from your family. I break the spirit of darkness and bondage. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Set your whole family free. Set them free. Send them free, Satan. Loose them in the name of Jesus. That's your heart's desire right there. That's your heart desire that your family will be saved. Praise God. Let it be done, Mama. Let it be done because you have given birth and you have you have labored for your family. You have worked hard. Praise God. I see someone named again with the letter K. I don't know if this person is related um, closely to you or not. Praise God. But, it, but as I was praying, I was also praying for someone that name began with the letter K. Praise God. Jile Makaraba Shanda. Roko Shab. Who is that? My in the name of Jesus. Let that life be touched. I come against every condition in the body. I come against every sickness in that body. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I speak healing. Jalalabakarada to that body in the name of Jesus. I come against every wicked attack of witchcraft. And I speak total deliverance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I also saw someone cooking, like cooking, like 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 a cook, like somebody who cook. That used to cook, that used to cook. That used to work in a kitchen. Praise God. Your sister used to run a restaurant. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I deliver your family, Mama. I deliver them out of all their trouble. I deliver them out of all their woes. May God arise for your family today in Jesus' name. God bless you, Mama. Amen. God bless you. I cover you in the blood. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Yes, God heard your prayer today, Mama Lolita. 
Praise God. I don't know. It looks as if this is the first time I'm, I'm praying directly for you. And you got look, the Spirit of God located you. And he said, pray for you. So all along while I was praying, I was I was praying for you this morning. So you are blessed today, mommy. Have joy today. I love you. Enjoy your vacation. Hallelujah. Blessings upon you. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless her. Hallelujah. God bless all of you today, saints. Amen. What a powerful God we serve. What a powerful, powerful God we serve. Look at that mommy. I mean, she is just so, so blessed right now. She is so blessed. You just don't never know what day God is going to locate you. Amen. And that is the beauty of being a part of this prayer army. Praise God. Amen. That is the beauty of being connected to this altar with Apostle and I. Every day we come. Every morning we come. Praise God. And we're here. Amen. Continue to raise this altar of consecration continue to lift this altar high praise god amen and continue to do the work of god pray for us we're praying for you praise god amen and may god keep you and bless all of you now what any was anybody blessed by the the teaching this morning did you get any understanding from the teaching did you did it help you any one person any one person somebody who waving like they smart somebody who waving amen or maybe you have a quick praise report amen who's it? Can you hear me? Yes. This is Samantha. Can you hear me, Prophetess? Loud and clear. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so, so much for this opportunity to speak, Prophetess, the teaching this morning. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where I've been in prayer, but you you explaining the imagination, is, is that just, I'm like, nothing is impossible now. Be, between what you said this morning, what Apostle said yesterday, um, at 3 p.m. and then what he said last night and all it just it just fully comes together now and I, I'm like I I'm very excited to pray because I just didn't understand I was trying but I just didn't understand because I've been getting revelations after the fire revival so now now I get it now I get it so please I, I thank you so much for the teaching this morning please keep going God bless you God bless Apostle Amen. thank you changing this morning life change i've been waking up at 5 a.m and i've just kind of been there now i understand what i can do yes because of yes. that dream that I, I didn't understand what i'm supposed to do dreams of tragedies that could happen in the world i, I just didn't understand wow. now i know what i can do yes while ma'am I'm waiting to get on you know i can get up so thank you thank praise you so god god bless you yes <laughs> Amen. Praise God. God bless you, Sam. God bless you. What a powerful, you know, and the word is supposed to give light. The word is supposed to give, the engines of the word is supposed to give a revelation. And that's what I'm here for. And that's why I say to people, you don't, if you're not a part of this prayer army, you're robbing, they're robbing themselves. And those of you that are part of the prayer army, you should be giving God praise because you get to sit with prophetess Dr. Maddie Norwich every morning. You get to sit here at my feet. You get here to glean. Amen. I don't hold anything. I give you information. I teach you. Praise God. And as we continue to grow and learn, and I continue to instruct you, you will begin to see miracles will be breaking out in our crusades. Because why? We prayed for them. We prayed for them in advance. We prayed for them to happen. We prayed for the sick to be here. I can tell you all right now, there's coming a day you will see not one single person that come before us with cancer will die from cancer. Not one single person. Not one single person will die from cancer in this ministry. Praise God and come to that. Come to this altar for prayer. Not one. You don't listen. You should open your mouth and agree. This is not a time to hold your head down because you're scared and you're feeling like, oh, I feel like the devil trying to take me back over. No, not one. Not one. Not one old person will be suffering from dementia. No one will be suffering from dementia in this organization and dementia talking out their head. No, sir, you will be talking straight. I don't care if you're 108. Praise God, when you're getting ready to leave this world, you will be saying farewell, prophetess. God bless you, apostle. I will see you. Hallelujah. I will meet you in the morning. Hallelujah. 
Come on. You ain't going out here talking foolishness and rubbish. You know, I, 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 monkey, monkey, no, 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 no. <laughs> you going out strong, but you ain't, no, ain't nobody going out nowhere right now. That's my point. Ain't nobody going out nowhere right now. Uh-uh, we got work to do. And I can't wait to see what else God is about to do. So while we're in these crusades, you're praying for the power and the presence of God. You're doing your part. You're inviting people to come. You're, you're, you're there early. You're on the grounds early. You praise God, amen, on the ground, getting ready because you want to see God do something. People of God, come with us, grow with us. We are going, going to the top and beyond. So may God bless all of you today. And I thank all of you for standing with us. Praise God. Amen. And we believe in God to give us this territory, give us this ground, give us our own facility. We're, we're, we want you to stand with us. Every week there's a budget. Every day there's a budget. And it's thousands of dollars. Amen. Thousands and thousands. Of, no, we did not plan to be here this long. But for whatever reason, I'm still here. And I want to thank all of you for, for sowing and giving. Praise God. Amen. And for releasing your seed. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you for your family. Thank you for your seed, all of you that are giving. Praise God. Amen. Thanks to those of you that are giving that sacrificial seed of a thousand dollars or more. Praise God to help us to accomplish this assignment. Praise God. Even on this week, those of you that are giving the hundred and seven dollar seed. May God bless you. May God increase you. May He make His face shine upon you and give you peace. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So all of you that are sowing towards, amen, the missions field today and this whole week. Thank you. May the Lord prosper you. You know, everything that comes into my hand, everything that comes into our hands, we take a portion of and we put it into the kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I can't go back in there in the prophetic right now. I gotta go. I'm out of time. My God, ah, Jesus, love of my soul. Praise Jesus. Father, I thank you right now for your people. Bless them. Bless them. Bless the Keels family. Bless them abundantly. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, bless the Rylands family. Bless them. Bless all of them. Keep them under the shadow of your wings. Those of you that are giving, continue to give even after we've gone off. Praise God. I'm believing God that all your needs will be met and that you'll be satisfied with greatness and satisfied with joy. Bless them. Bless the Adams family. Bless them today. In the name of Jesus, bless the Hunt, Hunt family. May God bless your family in the name of Jesus. May he keep you all under the shadow of his wings. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing the Williams family. Thank you. Rama bless the Panels family. Everyone who's giving today, whatever the amount is, may God bless and cover you. Oh Lord, Miss Keisha, I really, I, 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 the Lord gave me your name while I was praying earlier, and I am out of time. I, but I want you to know that I will pray, be praying for you. Amen. Right there. Amen. Hallelujah. I will be praying for you. I pray God bring you back before me again. But while I was praying, He gave me your name. Praise God. But I just want you to know it is well, okay? Just know that it is well. God is with you. He loves you today. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you. Y'all, let's make it happen. The Legacy Center, let's make it. It's not free, and I promise you it's not cheap. Amen. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. It is costing us a bit, a lot to do what we're doing. Praise God. But if some of you partners has come alongside me, praise God. I believe in God. Amen for seed of $25,000. I don't know who, what, will, I don't know what. Praise God, amen. But I'm believing God for a seed of $25,000 to come in. Praise God, this week, before this weekend is over. Praise God, I'm believing God for that, amen, as you stand with us in the mission field. Praise God, amen. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. I want to encourage everyone, go on over and subscribe to Apostolic Warriors TV. Praise God, it's Apostles First 
first social media platform. It is his first social media platform. He's never been on social media in terms of doing his own thing. He never opened up uh, anything. He still to this day does not have a Facebook, does not have a um, anything, any, and he doesn't have anything. And if you see it out there, it's, it's fake. So the first one he's ever done is called Apostolic Warriors. Praise God, Amen. And so we want to support our apostle. Go on over there, like, share, watch the videos, put those on replay, Amen. Go and look in the live section. Hit live for the for yesterday's um, show. And you can watch it again. Amen. It's faith building. So, amen. I love all of you. Don't forget. Amen. Continue to pray. Lift this altar. Let's lift this altar. Prayer and consecration. We're believing God for revival to break out in every city of America. And we're coming to raise a prayer altar in every every state we will have one and in in major cities we will have one a bfomi global prayer altar amen so may god bless all of you i love you have a beautiful beautiful day shalom I can't grasp the idea that you missed the first Overflow Fire Revival. Wait, I think there's some new intel coming. Coming to you live, Fire Revival America Overflow is happening again. I repeat, the fire just got seven times hotter than before. There's no stopping this. We can't contain it. I think no praise God if you had gone to school to do medical, something medical aid. Is this true? Yes. Is this true? Yes. Zappa, Zappa. Apostle Edison and prophetess Maddie Nottage by the Spirit of God is leading us. The Spirit of God is with us. We are on a mission. The fire of God is still burning America. We are here. We are waiting. But if you come to this altar, Jesus said, I will save you to the utmost. This weekend, it continues.
elements of my darkness I run in the beds of my shame I found God I found God I found Him in the midst of my darkness He took away all of my guilt He took away all of my pain, pain, pain. God 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 Somebody give God a 